guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we are doing an art supply review of a product called Portable Painter. And this is just a little watercolor travel palette. And I want to tell you why it seems, before we get into the entire review, that it seems to be the most amazing little travel palette I've ever seen in my life. And when I was asked to review this, I was super like, yes, please, I want to do it now. So Portable Painter actually was one on, I guess, Indiegogo or one of those crowdfunding websites because the idea of it was so amazing that people were like, take my money, I want this now. And I can totally understand that because having something that is hands-free that you can sit on your leg while you're doing plain air, I'm not French, don't know how to say it, painting outside is just like the most amazing thing to me. So the idea of this just made me say, yes, please, can I have one? Can I have one? I want to review it. So I'm just going to start by reading what it says on the box and what it says it's going to do for you. So Portable Painter is pocket-sized and ideal for travel. It's a hands-free watercolor palette uh, with two detachable water containers, two white folding palette plates, 12 half pans. It's unique. Um, and as a double-sided brush and aluminum clasp. Uh, on the back, it says hands-free, 12 pans, pocket-sized. Ideal for travel, balances well on uneven surfaces. And on the side, it has a folding synthetic double-sided brush. So I didn't actually take apart the brush during the unboxing because I kind of just go into the unboxing and I take everything out and look at it the way I normally would without reading anything, but you actually can pull out the back side of it and flip it around and attach it so it has two different sizes or sized brushes and I think that's amazing. Most palettes come with maybe one brush and that brush is usually way like too small to actually make a painting anywhere. It's, it's sort of almost like the size of a detailing brush. So having the two different brush sizes is very, very, very helpful. And yeah, I, I just think that's great that it has the two, two sides to it. Anyway, so you'll see here I'm filling up the 12 pans with some watercolor paints. And my first question was, all right, so these are the 12 pans that you get. What if you want to replace a pan with something else that you already have the watercolor in? So you'll see at one point that I'll stick in, I have like Windsor and Newton half pans and some other off-brand half pans. You can see that it does accommodate the other pans, but depending what brand pan that you try to stick in that hole, <laughs> um, it might stick out, but it doesn't fall out. So it's just kind of like a more snug fit and the palette does close on top of it and everything fits together perfectly fine. So don't worry if you use any other kind of half pan, it should fit. Not perfectly, but it, it will fit. The size of the palette is really crazy. Like I have like an old fashioned smartphone, right? And the portable painter is basically the size of this really old phone, which is smaller than the iPhones out there nowadays. So this thing is really tiny and it's really compact, but it has basically everything you need to go out and paint outside. So all you would need in addition to this, well, you would have to buy the watercolors to put in, <laughs> inside the palette, but you would also need a little watercolor sketchbook. I have a tiny watercolor Moleskine notebook and that fits really well with the portable painter. I can just put both of them in one pocket and just go outside. So a tiny watercolor book or a big one doesn't really matter, it's up to you. And some sort of water. So if you go to the park, there's usually water fountains or you can pick up like a water bottle somewhere. Get some water somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so first impressions. It's really well made, it's sturdy, everything fits together perfectly. It's really great. However, it's the most annoying thing you ever have to listen to because 
the half pans go into the holes and there's nothing keeping them there. So they're constantly banging against the other side of the watercolor palette. And what I've done to kind of fix that problem is just take a piece of paper towel and lay them on top of the watercolors and then close up the palette. It will all fit together perfectly fine and it will get rid of that really annoying banging sound when you're walking around. It's kind of like following a guy with a thing full of Tic Tacs and he's just like shaking them as he walks. It's, it's kind of annoying. but. It's really easy to fix that if you just put some paper towel. Usually I need that for water coloring anyway, so really works out well. And this is my major complaint. Um, if there was anything that really bothers me about this palette, and trust me, there's really not anything that really bothers me, but if I can pick anything out that bothers me is that it's a little bit stiff. So let's say I'm trying to open up the white part of the palette and take out all the pans. When I open that, there's a bit of a jerk to it, so the pans <laughs> will come flying out. And this was when I was actually filling them with the tube watercolors, and they flew out all over my desk, and it was horrible, and there was just paint everywhere. So I can't stress enough, your best friend with the portable painter is some paper towel <laughs> okay portable painter paper towel that will the two of those like fix all of your problems because when you're trying to open up the palette if there's the paper towel there holding the paint in you don't have to worry about everything flying everywhere so once you counteract that problem there's really nothing wrong with it like there's nothing wrong with the design i really love it um it's it has so much storage for water. You could use one of the water pans for water, and then you could use the other pan to hold pencils or other brushes or things like that. It's just, it's really, it's a really unique and awesome design. And I can totally see why this Indiegogo campaign got twice the amount of money that was needed to make this, because it's, the idea of it's awesome, and it is awesome. It's exactly what you thought you were gonna get when you watch the campaign online. So let's talk a bit about hands-free watercolor, right? It says it balances on other surfaces easily, and that's true. I did put it on my walkway, which was uneven. Uh, I did put it on the, the kind of, you see the granite over there, <laughs> the really uneven, even looking stone next to where my dog was laying earlier in the video. I put it there, I put it on the mulch in the flower beds, and it, it stands up perfectly well, you know. Um, but where this product really shines is when you put it on your knee, because it just stays there. And I was, I was worried that it would kind of tip over, but it seems that the side pockets for the water are long enough that it will kind of like hug your, your knee or your leg. And based on, you know, how skinny you are, you can kind of like move it upwards towards your thigh to make sure it's like a snugger fit. So it's really great. And I mean, I absolutely love it. I'm going to continue using it. I think it's a great little palette. Just make sure <laughs> you use paper towel. That's that's all I'm saying, especially when you fill up your palette, like just if it's tube watercolor, let it dry completely or put the paper towel on top. Just do yourself a favor because A, it's going to be really annoying when you walk around and B, it will explode everywhere and then your entire desk will be watercolored and it look disgusting and then cleaning up watercolors that are wet like that you need a ton of water because you just keep smearing it around. It's the worst thing ever, but paper towel will fix that. And yeah, I mean, that little clasp, the aluminum clasp is the thing that holds everything together. So please, please do not lose that because if you lose that, well, I guess maybe you could um, put like a rubber band around it or something, but then it won't look as classy, but yeah. This is awesome. I love the brushes that come that come with it. I have absolutely no complaints that aren't solvable. <laughs> Very easily sol solvable. 
So if you guys are interested in this product, I will link you to their website. It's really awesome if you like to watercolor when you're not in your house and you're going somewhere, going on vacation, this would be absolutely perfect for you. This is my favorite travel palette ever, and I'm just gonna put that out there. If you're looking for a travel palette, get Portable Painter and get some paper towel and you'll be good. <laughs> All right guys, I'll talk to you next week in another video. Take care, bye.